Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today we have a Fandom of the Month box. So this should be their anniversary box, and it's the continuation of my day of monthly subscriptions. So let's dual camera this up, and we will delve right in. So November is the time where they came out with their subscription service, so it is their anniversary box. And this card definitely cements that home. It says Fandom of the Club Member. It shows all of their past fandoms. And yes, that one, I do not remember the Wizard of Oz one. I probably, I think that was one of their first few. I'm not sure. It tells you all the normal information of how to get it. And thank you for being a member and how to share your stuff. And then it says, I do believe something very magical can happen when you read a good book. J.K. Rowling's. Very nice little stamp. I'll add this to my collection of other stamps. And this should be the first month of the new bag. So let's see. Oh, no, it's not. I thought this was going to be the first month of the new bag they announced. Um, It says, this fandom of the month club, second year anniversary. So let's dump everything out and let's see what we get. First right on here is a... Feather, which I have no clue what you're going to do with it, but it says the stories we love best do live in us forever. And it's just a cute kind of pewter feather. It has bending, bendability. So I guess if you wanted to, you could glue this to a headband or what have you. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. It's interesting. I foresee me using it in a craft at some point in my life, but I'm not sure. The next thing is a Time Turnus little keychain. A broken Time Turnus keychain. Oh, you guys saw that happen right on camera. Um, I, I don't know what to say about that. I did not assemble this. This is actually the first time I'm opening the box past cutting the tape. So that's kind of stupid. And I can't even finicky it back together. So, yeah. And the little center ball part didn't even stand. Okay, now I can accept the occasional roughness of things being mailed out. I can accept certain defects, but heaven help me. Is it every time I get a box from Fandom of the Month, I'm going to run into, I finally got that back on there with a lot of strength. But am I going to always run into broken items? Like this one, I, it, it's cute. I like it. I think it's adorable. But what's the point in me having this if it's just going to fall out in public? Like right here, you can tell where it's epoxied in and the epoxy didn't take. I mean, how secure is that? I, I can only imagine if this was like, if somebody was so ecstatic for getting this, because they needed it for cosplay of Hermione Granger. Are you kidding me? I mean, I would be so pissed. I, I mean, I, I'm irritated by this. This cost, this box cost me 15 bucks. I mean, yeah, all I have to do is re-epoxy this in there, but why the heck should I have to? Okay, I'm going to put this away before I break it. Worse than it's already came to me broken. I mean, it can't be any worse. I fixed it already. But, No. That, no. All right. I'm going to have to re-epoxy it, and I am most definitely going to email over this, because I have video proof, and it will be on YouTube, and I will link her to the video saying, look, there's a timestamp of it being broken. So the next thing is Nightmare Before Christmas. I do not remember this being a past box, but I'm happy that she put a Nightmare Before Christmas in here. I wish it was in December. I wish she had announced Nightmare Before Christmas box. But, say la vie, so it is. And, I mean, they're just traditional kind of Jack Skellington looking things. Which, nice. Very nice. But, yeah. I've had quite a few. Then less. Oh, I have the video of how to make these. I need to post it. Please, someone in the comments remind me in a week from now. Because all I have to do is post it. The next thing is, this looks like a line in, oh, nope, it's TARDIS thing. It's, I mean, a Doctor Who thing. Actually, it's all of their fandoms. It's little charms inside of a glass little thing, which 
yes, you can open. And yes, you can have everything fall out like I just did. So that's cute. You can put pictures in there and then have those dangling around and bouncing about. Um, they just have little charms in them. Let me reopen this so I can show you guys. And it just shows some of their past fandoms. So I'm going to guess that's The Hunger Games. That one's Star Trek. Doctor Who. Uh, Harry Potter. And a Mickey Mouse little charm. Interesting. Cute. Very nice. So let us go through to the next one. And check out the next thing. So, very nice. The next thing is I live long. It's a little bracelet that says live long and prosper. Which I guess these are supposed to be their most famous fandoms they've done. Except for Nightmare Before Christmas. They haven't done or else I would have been super ecstatic. And would keep wait till December to tell you. So live long and prosper. It's one of these little saying bracelets. It's nothing too impressive. It is gender neutral. So if you had a boyfriend you wanted to give this to. It wouldn't be the worst thing. So it's cute. It's fun. Um, yeah. So... To recap, let me grab my little bag. The second anniversary fandom, so we get the Live Long and Prosper bracelet. The Nightmare Before Christmas earrings, which have not been a fandom yet. And I would love them to be a fandom in December. That would make me super happy. Then we have the Broken Time Turnus, which... Not even going there. The cute little charm kind of necklace thing that you can put people's pictures in. Then... The feather that... I don't even know why. But it's cute nonetheless. It'll be a cute little thing to put inside a jar. And I had something fall out of somewhere. Oh, this fell off of my earring. So, yeah. That's it for the Fandom of the Month box. If you have questions or comments, shoot them down below. If you want this box for yourself, the link will be in the description. Please follow it and use it. So I can have the hopes of earning another one of these boxes. So yes, I will talk to you guys later. Do you Bye. like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!